In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom city map from start to finish. This is the simplest of all of the maps that we have on the site, so it should be quick, but I just want to make sure you're familiar with everything you can do to customize the map just like you want. The first thing that you're going to want to do is click create your map. And then from there, that moves you into the editor and the editor automatically defaults to flight maps. As you can see up here, it says air trip. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click city view, then click OK. And that's going to change it to where there are no routes on the map. So no road trips, no flights. The city maps are for someone who wants to highlight a special place that they've been or just really likes a more simplistic look. And then it's super simple. All you have to do is search the place that you want to display. Um, so for me, I'm going to choose Nashville because that's Karen and I's hometown. So it might be cool to have a map of that. And then come over here to the right hand side of the screen. And one of the first things that you're probably going to want to do is choose between a horizontal or vertical orientation. And you can easily do this by clicking between these two tabs. So I'm going to go with a vertical orientation for this. And then the next thing that you're probably going to want to do is zoom the map in and out to get it exactly where you want. And you can do that by using these buttons up here at the top. Or if we come back over to the map and you're on a laptop, you can pinch and zoom on your trackpad. So if you wanted to get really close or you can zoom way out, at some point you start losing detail. So I kind of like to find that sweet spot where there's quite a bit of detail but we're zoomed out and then you can actually just grab the map and you can move it around to position it exactly where you want. So after you get it exactly where you want, you can come down here and you can add a title. So I'm going to put Nashville and then you can add a subtitle. Again, these can say anything that you want. Let's say established 1989. That's not when the town was established. That's when I was born. So, <laughs> and then I actually think I'll move the, the map down a little bit because I saw that the river was getting cut off and I think that looks pretty good and that's about all there is to customizing a city map. So from here you have step one done. Next you're going to move on to where you're going to be able to play with the colors and the layout and you do that just by clicking this customize tab here. We have six different layouts you can choose from. We have basic, classic, modern, editorial, bold, and minimal. I am a fan of the basic for this map, but depending on which one of these layouts that you choose, you may want to move the map around a little bit. So as you can see, no matter which step you're on of the process, customize or your trip, then you're able to still move the map around. So we'll leave it right there. And then from there, you choose a color scheme. We have eight different color schemes you can choose from. I'm actually a big fan of the dark color scheme for this one. So after you get your map looking exactly like you want, you're going to move on to the third step, which is frame and finish. And here you can choose the size of your map. And after you choose the size, you can choose how you want to frame your map. And you can choose between hangers, which you can see a preview of down here. And you can click on that to make it bigger. Metal frames, again, there's a preview and then wood frames. And these are just stock maps that show inside of the preview. So don't worry, you're not gonna get the stock map inside of the frame. You're gonna get the map that you're customizing right now. And then after you choose your frame, depending on which frame you choose, you can choose different colors. So you, for this wood frame, you can choose between black, natural wood, and white. I think I'll go with white since we have kind of a dark style on the map. And then after you're done choosing your frame, just scroll down, add the map to your cart, and you can move through the checkout process. Or if you decide for some reason you want to go back and edit your map before you make your purchase, just come up here and click edit. And then that will bring you back to the editor where you can make some final edits and changes on the map. Let's say you decided you wanted to zoom it out a little bit or, or change the subtitle up here. Let's do the current year then all you have to do is come back to the third step, which is frame and update, and then update it in your cart, and you'll be ready to check out again. 